But first, next to your paper cutter, you might have a sewing machine in your craft room, right? Next to the sewing machine, you might have an electronic die cutting machine. And now, a brand new craft machine is changing the possibilities for home makers. Studio 5 creative contributor Liz Welker is here to introduce us. What is the craft world all Ooh, buzzing about? Ooh, it's techie. Yeah? You wouldn't think so, well, but... It looks like something out of a scientific and lab. And when it's moving and going, it does feel that way. What is this, Liz? So this is the Silhouette Alta Plus. Okay. This is a 3D printer for crafters. What? So it makes small scale things you use this filament it comes in a bunch of different colors you load it in you dream up what you want to make and it makes something out of nothing it's really magical here's the thing we know 3d printers are a thing we're looking at yeah one. it still feels like something foreign very futuristic seeming mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. describe I mean break it down for yes. us what can this do you say it can make things what can it yes. do? yes so this is like I said smaller scale so perfect for crafters so if you're a scrapbooker if you make cookies if you um, make cakes and you need cake toppers, if you like to give um, gifts that are really personalized, this is your new baby. It, I mean, it, it can do it all. It turns out these items in plastic form? Yes, solid plastic. Okay. So this filament is plastic filament. You load it in. I don't even know what filament means. I don't either. <laughs> it's just the word that you say. <laughs> don't make me explain filament to you. Okay. Um, all right. But it heats it up, melts it down, uh -huh. and then it draws it on this little disc that's in the middle. And the great thing about this so if you've used a craft cutter, which so many people have now, having right. a silhouette machine or a Cricut machine is pretty typical for lots of crafters. Right. The software is very similar to those softwares. So if you've used one of these, you would be shocked at how quickly you go from out of the box to making something. Well, talk us through that process. What sure. does that look like? So it comes with a software that has different design elements. So um, it has some designs included, but the cutting software, I mean, look at that. It's so cool. It's, it's like a little robot in your craft room okay but it comes with different designs you can take you can download designs online that are the same file and then you load them into the software you resize them and you literally tap print like you would print something on paper and it sends it to this machine and makes it in 3D. What's the sizable? I mean, you say small yes. and I'm looking at little cookie cutters. Yes. I'm looking at little earrings. That's it. So if you look inside the machine, there is this disc that's about, I don't know, would you say six inches sure. wide? Yeah. So that's about as wide as your projects can be. How tall? How so I haven't tried anything particularly tall because it is a slow process. So they, you can, I've seen people make vases that are about six inches tall within okay. here. So <laughs> it is smaller scale, which is great for crafters because most crafters aren't working on a large scale anyway. Right, right. Um, but it is for making smaller scale you, items. You mentioned the slow process. Yes. How slow? Slow. slow. So I, if I had to say one critique of the machine, it is if you want something instant, that gratification, it's not coming with this. Okay. You can dream it up, but you'll need to give it time. So something like a paper clip would take 20 minutes, but something like a vase or even some of the more intricate cookie cutters, you're talking hours. Okay. All right. But the great thing is that the software lets you start it and walk away. You don't uh -huh. have to sit there and babysit it. Uh -huh. Or um, you can still continue to work on, you can minimize the program and work on your computer or whatever. So it's about plan ahead head whatever you dream up give it time so that you know so like I want earrings from this wedding this weekend that match my dress perfectly I better plan a couple of hours just so that they're made before I have so many questions how many colors of filament are available endless endless, endless. so silhouette has its own line of filaments but you can buy filaments for other 3d printers as long as they're the same size every color of the rainbow is out there show us some of the things you've made and talk yes. us through maybe the time commitment that sure took. okay so here let's talk party so okay. if you are a cake maker and you love to make cakes and you want your custom cake topper that has the person's name of or their birthday do. or the of event. Of course we do. Of course you do. You can make one of these, this one probably four hours okay. or so. Okay. Because you can choose the level um, that you want it to look, so the smoothness level. But this so, could say happy birthday Emmy. This could say happy birthday it Liz. Could, it could have the age. It could be for a ba like baby showers, all of it. Okay. It's so fun and you just stick it in. Um, something like gift tags or something. This is like about 30 minutes to make one of these. Look you can put cute. a monogram. 
Instagram on it. You can put happy birthday. You could put anything and tie it to your gift and it's personalized. We talked about, I, I use the word tall. Maybe the more appropriate word is thickness. Do you dictate yes. the thickness? You do. Okay. Yep. So all the different things you can, and the thicker, obviously, the more time okay. it will take. Okay. You made earrings? I made earrings. They're so cute. So these abstract earrings are such a big trend right now. We've done them with clay and that sort of thing. These take about an hour per piece. So, but, I mean, I guess per set. So um, not too long. And the great thing about the filament is it takes wonderfully to paint. So if you only buy white filament, but you have a ton of acrylic paint, you can paint. So these are hand painted after you cut them. So they come out white and then I just paint them with acrylic paint and it works great. Women are going to go bananas. Like you can have bananas. it for every outfit, like the perfect earring well, for every you outfit. Think, you think how die cuts evolve? Like yes. I'm thinking the old crank them die cuts yes. that I spent hours, you know, at the scrapbook store that I worked for creating right. and rolling out. <laughs> yes. But think how those even evolved. Like yes. the way back that we were layering them. We were making them 3D. This that's is going it. to evolve in a way that's going to be probably quicker and more efficient. Absolutely. And I mean, anything you think of. What's you happening at the, other, other end of the Okay, table. so fun, like, little stationary pieces. You can make, here's my Brooke bookmark I made. <gasps> oh, bless you. Look. I know. Is that so now cute? Now I might actually have to read a book. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, bookmarks, paper clips. Um, you can make stencils. So something like this hello sign here, you can make, like, I'm not a hand letter. So make the stencil and then put the stencil on a piece of paper and, and draw through the stencil and then you look like a letter. You can make a stencil. Make a stencil. My brain is opening up in layers. Can That's you it. tell? Yes, it's the a map. cookie it's so cutters, magical. I think, are really fun for Cookie bakers. cutters are awesome. So there's a couple of different versions you can make. There's cookie stamps. So okay. if you want your cookies to be more detailed, yeah. there's just the outline of the cookie. So if you just want a certain shape and then you decorate them really fancy with frosting, uh -huh. then you use that. These thicker ones you can make, they're great for Play-Doh with kids. This is my Brooke Walker oh, you're cookie the cutter. Best. But they're great for playing, you know, get, make your kids their favorite character of a cookie cutter and give it to them to play with Play-Doh and they're, I mean, what's more fun than that? All so right. exciting. Available now? Available now, around $300. You can get them on the Silhouette website, Amazon, anywhere. Okay, you have opened our minds to, I think, the next level. It's pretty cool. Of crafting possibility. <laughs> what projects are coming up for you? Oh my gosh, we're already thinking about Halloween. Is that so weird? I know. Well, you're I a feel planner. insane. You're, and you have to help the rest of us get ahead of it. That's so it. That's where you're But your you mind can is. find all these projects if you're interested in 3D cutting. We'll be sharing how we made them all on our blog, prettylifegirls.com. All right, I'm excited. Thank you, Liz. Thank